<laughs> Cut the water off. Since we're going to remove the toilet from where it is, the tank and everything, we're going to take the uh, top off and put it somewhere where it's safe. Remove the remaining water in the tank. I usually like to start by removing the uh, tank ball so that I can take a nice large sponge and sponge up the remaining of the water that's in the tank. And once we get most of the water out the tank, that's when we're going to begin removing the tank. Now this way, water doesn't go everywhere. Okay, now we're going to remove the supply line to the toilet. Removing the supply line to the toilet. This is the uh, and usually I like to do this with the uh, going to remove the ball cock this is the uh, bottom view of the ball cock so we're just gonna remove this nut so that back out This is the top view of the ball cock. This is the hole where the ball cock went. And this here is the flush tube or better known as the flush box, flush valve. Which we are also going to remove once we remove the uh, toilet tank. Now we have our toilet supply line. This is particular one is called a rubber tip. And we have our braided toilet supply line.
it's a good idea to check your local codes uh, in case you want to use plastic supply lines uh, some municipalities don't allow it and here is our new flush valve this is the new ball cock that we're going to use it's made of brass and that's mostly my preference the refill tube the trip lever that turns the ball cock off and on with the water level and this is another type of ball cock which is called a fluid master these are the two most commonly used ball cock the brass one and this here the fluid master fluid master refill tube washer and assembly for those of you who like to use the fluid master this is how it comes there's two washers one washer has to be popped out of the other this is the tank washer Just put our ball cock in place. That is the refill extension, and now we're connecting the refill tube to the extension. In some cases you may not need this extension but just in case you do this is how it goes but you will need the refill tube we just plug our refill tube into the side outlet of the ball cock and the other end into the flush box